Hey makers, this is Yana Wimaki. Today I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to thicken your fonts so then you can create cake toppers and use them in Cricut Design Space. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more helpful tutorials for making cake toppers. Also, be sure to get your freebies from the link below. Okay, well, let's get started. Here we are in Inkscape. So let's go ahead and take this A, which is a typing tool, click on it and just click anywhere on your screen. My font is really small, so let me just type and then we can enlarge it. Let's type the word love. Then change your arrow. Make sure you have this lock closed. So you, when you drag, it will proportionally make the text bigger. Now go ahead and select your text by double clicking. You're going to get this cursor, blinking cursor like any other cursor you find in a Word document and highlight your text. This on the upper left hand corner is the text menu, the font menu. So go ahead and click on the drop down and find the font that you want to use. Let's try this font right here. Sometimes you have to, with Inkscape, sometimes there are some issues, so click on another font and see if the one you want going to be able. There we go. Now we can click it. Let me make it a little bit more bigger. So right now, the way you have your text, you can click it again and type it and erase it. But in order to make it thicker, you have to, what we call is, make it as if it's an image. So let me show you what I mean by that. Right now the text is selected, and when you go to Path, and we go to Object to Path. So currently your text is typable, if that's a word. <laughs> now we're going to make it a path. Now if you look down here below, it says group of four objects. So even though you can't see, this, each layer is now an object. Let me show you what I mean. Let's try. There we go. Here you go. Now you can see that each letter has its own, it's been separated from being a text. So now you cannot retype any other word. What I want to do first, since we're making a cake topper, is make sure that all our text is connected so it will not fall apart. So I'm going to bring this L closer to the O, make sure that everything is touching. And again, I'm going to go ahead and select it all. And then we're going to go to path and we're going to do union. Union basically makes all the letters become one. You see now it became one. So if you click on this arrow right here, you can see they're all connected and now it's showing these little nodes, which means you cannot type anymore. And don't worry about the nodes. So now it's ready to make it thicker. One of the fastest ways to do this is go back to path and click on linked offset. You're gonna get this little diamond. We hold, make sure you hold shift on your keyboard to make it easier to work with. And you drag. The more you drag, the thicker it's gonna be. I think this is pretty good for a cake topper. It will cut out nice and thick and it will not fall apart. So again, we're going to go to this bigger arrow and I'm going to show you if you drag this text down, you actually can see the original from the top. So these lines are way too thin and now what we made is much thicker for us to use. Now let me show you a second technique that you can do this. Again, take your original text, and since we already made it a path, so we don't have to do 
the steps we did to create uh, it um, from the text to the path originally. So since that part is done, all you have to do is on your left hand side, you see this little bucket tool, click on the bucket and click on anywhere on the text. So what it did was, right here is on the top, it says grow and shrink by 50. This is what I have selected as 50. You can change it to any number you want and it will make the text thicker. So if I do um, minus to plus, it will change or you can just type it in. So let me show you again. Let me delete this layer. Take the, take the word. You select it, click on the bucket, change to whatever you like to say, uh, the thickness you want it to be. You can play around with different numbers. Let me try 50. And then you click on the text. It grows by 50. Uh, in this case, millimeter, millimeters. It looks pretty good. The, the reason you would want to use this step versus this one, which was much, much faster, is when you want to create equal layers of 3D layers. What I mean by that is you have this layer and now you want the next layer to be bigger by 50 millimeters again. So let me show you what I mean. I selected this layer, hold the bucket, uh, click on the bucket, and we still keep the 50 and we click on this top layer again see as it gets thicker so now if I go to my arrow and I can choose any of these colors on the bottom let's change it and then we're gonna send it to back this is what we get and then we have this middle layer which I created before let's change um, send it backwards and here we go now we have the original which was black, the green one, and then the blue one. This is how you would show, if, this is the best way to have this equal amount of spacing for each layer. But overall, if you just want to thicken the text, this would be the simplest way to do it, the very first option that I showed you. Now your next step in here, if you want to do is, you can clean up the layers a little bit. As you can see, there's this little space in between that you really don't need for this particular purpose. You can separate them out. And when you take this layer right here, go to Path, Break Apart, and then you can do path union. So what it did was it took those little spaces and it made it all in one over here. And you can put them back together. For example, this one right here looks pretty good, but if you wanna just get rid of this little tiny part, take your um, tool right here, the note tool, and you can select just these. Let me delete those. Now bring everything back together. You can select it all, and then right here in the alignments, just align it together. At this point, you are done in Inkscape. All you have to do is save your file. So go to File, Save As, and then you name your project right here. Inkscape SVG file, and then hit Save. And now we're going to go into Cricut Design Space so you can see how this looks like. Here we are in Cricut Design Space, so let's go ahead and upload what we just created. Hit upload. Upload image. Now find your file. Hit 
and just drag it into your screen. Hit save. Select your image and hit insert image. So the way it brought it all in, it kind of put it all on top of each other. Let's just separate them out. So this is the text that we had at the bottom, the one that we thickened first, and this is the one that we layered after. So you can see it up close. And we, ha we can see right here, they're all individual layers. So at this point you are done, just hit make it and cut your file out. And if you have any questions, join Marcus Makers Club on Facebook and post your questions there. I'll see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.